Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get custom installation icons like the one I have over here for your Minecraft Java Edition launcher. So if you like Minecraft videos like this one then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials just like this one. And so if we press our different installations you'll see that for example we have the Optifine logo, we have the latest snapshot which always has a crafting table, the latest release which always has a grass block and of course there's the generic one as well which is the furnace but there are some custom ones here so I've had this one turned into a skulk streaker and this one over here is actually a jigsaw block so I'll show you how to change these icons to any block you want in the game and so this will be quite helpful if you want to distinguish between all of your different installations so we can go up here click installations and we'll see all of my different installations and let's actually go and change this one down here so to change any of these you just have to press the three buttons on the right or you can just click new installation to change it so we can press the three buttons and then press edit and then up here we can click this button and here we can change the installation icon to whatever we want but there is only a finite number of options so it can be a furnace that is on there can be the nether bricks it can be an installing table there are many different options here already but there's many blocks that are actually missing here and so let's see how we can get our own custom block for the installation icon so i think it would be nice to make this one a beacon since it is not here so so what we need to do to make this installation a beacon is to first get an image of a beacon. Okay, we'll just go over to Google and search for Minecraft beacon. We'll get the Minecraft wiki image of it, which we can then just right click and save. Then what you need to do is make sure that you save it as a PNG file. So currently it's a web file which we can just change to png at the end and then press enter to save it and so to test if it works just open it up in whatever program you like and we can see that indeed it is now a png there is transparency in this image we can see beyond the glass of the beacon so that is perfect however if we now try to apply this image so we can press the plus button here in our launcher and then select this one over here so this is the beacon image we just saved and it is indeed a png file so that's correct so we can press it however now it mentions that icons must be 128 by 128 pixel png files and so our file is currently 300 by 300 pixels and so it's too large to be used for this icon and so then what we can do is either use paint.net or whatever program you use to resize images or you can also just use an online website there are many of these different websites out there just select one of them or of course use any of the programs you already have on your PC all we need to do is select our beacon image then here for example we have to just select the dimensions and make sure it is 128 by 128 pixels like this and we can press resize hit download right click the image and then we can download it save it like this we can see it has been saved we can see that it's now indeed the png image and we can press save again and so this means if we open it up we can see it is a smaller beacon and so that has worked we can also check in our file explorer by right clicking it and then clicking on properties at the bottom then going over to details and here we indeed see it's 128 by 128 pixels so now let's go back into the minecraft launcher here we go and now we can press the plus button again and this time select the smaller beacon double click it and there we go we have our beacon it is indeed also transparent and you can see that the beacon is nowhere in the other options for this installation icon and so apart from blocks you can also just put any image in here that you want as long as it's 128 by 128 pixels in dimension and then the only thing we need to do is just press save and there we go we now have a beautiful beacon installation icon for this specific installation and so if we select it we can see that that beacon icon is right there as i said it's really useful if you want to distinguish between your different installations and immediately find the one that you want to use so there we go if you have any more questions about this then please leave them in the comments down below but if you enjoyed this video then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials like this one i want to thank my tier 3 member the smicklar thank you so much for becoming a tier 3 member but there we go i hope you all enjoyed this video until in the next one so till then mm, bye bye